accelerates the swift achievements of the majority of the school district by achieving the National Grid Foundation, the Honorable Patrick Patton, Mayor of Detroit, Prince County Executive, the Honorable Steve McLaughlin, Associate Vice President of School Life and Director of Athletics, Dr. Lee McElroy, Senior Advancement Officer, Deborah Chesky, Director of Community and State Relations, Christopher Nolan. Joining them at the Rights the Catholics from Fort Allen, Mark Beyond, for the ceremony of the drive. Welcome back, everyone. Again, I'm Joe. This is Matt. And before we get going, we'd like to make a few announcements. First, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, include WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. WRPI, a reminder, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Go to your browser at WRPI.org, and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so long as WRPI is broadcasting. We will provide the broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that's WRPI.org. Recruitment, WRPI is seeking Karen and RPI students, just like myself and Matt, to make live calls of RPI athletic events such as this one. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or to express interest, contact WRPI-sports at RPI.edu. So, before we get going, Matt, what are our keys to the game? What do you see? What do you listen in the interview? Well, Joe, based on the interview and just looking at the past couple records, uh, we've talked about and you mentioned already RPI's coming off their first sweep uh, 
first weekend sweep in over a year now. Um, so I think a really good thing, especially in those two games last weekend, Joe, they got ahead. And when you get ahead, it really doesn't matter what the ranking or what the paper says, because you're winning the game at that point in time. So if we can see the engineers get ahead against this number two uh, nationally ranked Cornell team, uh, all the numbers and all the stats behind this game are going to wash away real quick for the engineers. All right, and here we get set. Ashbrook takes the faceoff, wins it back, and going to the corner for it is Riley. He'll drop it there for Babichuk. Babichuk and Riley play catch. Riley takes it up from behind his own net. Alex there for Ashbrook. Ashbrook, Cornell, and Lepidin, as we mentioned starting, have been on fire as of late. Cornell quickly retreats behind their own net with Green. Green sends it up the boards. Now sends it over the far side for Caldas. Caldas finds a man breaking, but getting it bounced off the stick was Kyle Betts. And Riley pushes him to the corner. RPI quickly recovers. Now sending it cross sides was Lepinen. Cornell will dump it in. And RPI will go off for a change. Dubinsky comes flying in. Cornell clears it to neutralize. Now they'll skate up with Andreoff. Now they drop it back on side, shot comes in, and it's Clover, covered up there by Marshall. Michael Ragouche got a rip, ripped a bit of a wrister there from around the circle. And 19-12 into the first, we've got our first shot, first shot of the game, and the Big Red got it. Yeah, Joe, quick, aggressive start from the Big Red. Already saw a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Betts, just was able to, unable to handle it with the stick, so a lucky break for the engineers there defensively. Yes, and Riley was quickly back to shove it into the corner. Comes up, now Cornell wins the faceoff. They'll take it in the near corner and circle back around and begin to cycle with Andreev. Andreev makes a move, gets in slot, then sends it up to the point there. Shh, they swing it back over to the far side. Shot comes through, bounces off the body in front, and the engineers come away with it. Dubinsky sends it up high and out of the zone. Now Trey making a whack at it was Morello, but unable to get a clean stick on it. Big Red quickly comes back. Quick moving game to start. Pass goes through, bounces off the back of the net. Marshall had to handle it for a second because Cornell was pushing up on the forecheck. Now they take it at the point with Green. Shot comes through, bounces around, off the side and into the corner. Big Red really buzzing to start this game. Ferner takes it, bounces off the glass and RPI unable to clear the zone. Shelberg sweeps it down and then pushes it into neutral ice. Cornell comes right back in and then dropping it back there for Green. It looks like he'll send a shot through. Bounces off the skate of, of Lyndon Marshall. RPI able to clear. Green goes right back to get it. He'll send it over to the far side. Now they'll, they move it up ice. It bounces off the stick. And Cornell continues to press on the four check. Morello with it. He battles in the corner, gets it back for Johnson. Bear now on the ice. He'll send it up far side, and now Morello's breaking. Morello sends a shot through, gets gloved down by Goida. Matt Goida up for the Hobie Baker this year, or one of the favorites for the Hobie Baker, and a, a 9 4 5 save percentage will do that for you. Yeah, going to be a really uh, good challenge for the engineers tonight, Joe, offensively trying to get one or possibly multiple goals past Cornell tonight. Slow defensive start for the engineers, Joe. Their defense is going to be tired real quick if they can't get the puck out of the zone. Yeah, you can't have Marshall getting hung out to dry as Jerry now set to take the draw against... Oh, he gets kicked out of the dot, so Noah Bald will come in. Now Jerry gets removed, and it'll be Rory Herman taking the face off. Herman, a freshman, six foot, 200 pounds. And RPI wins it back. It's Bear who whips a shot through. That gets blocked down. RPI holds it at the point with Johnson. Johnson rips one, bounces off the leg of Goida. Goida having to work a little. Now Ball sends it back. Moving up ice. Far side, near side, far side for the, for the big red. They dump it in deep where it's taken by Betts. Betts comes through towards the slot, gets snuffed down by Bear. Good defensive stick there from Shane Bear. RPI sends it up, pushes it up ice, gets pushed back in by Big Red. Big Red continuing to put pressure, but not be able to produce shots. RPI suppressing them. Now Jerry skates with it, and he'll dump it deep and go off for a change. Big, Big Red moves back up. 
Gornell gets a stick on it, and it gets dropped, and now Mike Gornell will move up. Two on two with Ashbrook. Shot comes in, blocked aside. Good defense there from Yanni Caldas. Now Big Red moves up. Dumped in there by Andreev. Andreev keeps it on his stick. And then sends it over, slot. Shot comes, does not come in. He gets taken out by Lepinen instead. And then Lint Marshall able to push it behind the net. So scramble in front, Lepinen able to clear. Green comes away with it. He'll push it over to the far side there for Mitchell. Mitchell pushes it forward and it gets knocked down by Lyndon Marshall. Big Red comes back in after a change. Over by the circle now. Gets taken off their stick and Ashbrook now moves up. Ashbrook trying to see, see, send it through to Zeke, but Zeke unable to get a stick on it. So a little seam pass there. Offensive presence is really strong from the Big Red right now, Joe. The engineers are starting to work well in transition, but they don't have a lot of time on attack right now. Just roughly five minutes through this first period, I'd say it's about 80% offensive possession of the Big Red. But, you know, got to warm up, learn to skate with these guys a little bit. The Big Red are very composed right now, where the engineers are working a little more frantically to get the puck out of their zone. That's true, as we have RPI retreating behind their own net as Wiley bounces it up the glass for Zeke and it will go out of play. So I believe a neutralized faceoff coming up, which is pretty good. 15.25 to go here in the first and we are still scoreless. Center ice faceoff coming. Dubinsky set to take the draw there against Steinberg. Steinberg wins it back, and it's moved up by Hiskinen. Hiskinen dumps it deep. Ferner goes to retrieve. Dubinsky and Polino play catch. Polino sends it back behind, where Samick will rip it up the boards, and Zeke knifes it through. Polino in on the four check. Good play there by Polino. Save the icing. And now, but Big Red retreats, and now they'll move up for neutral ice. RPI quickly gets it back. Now it's Polino and Dubinsk and Zeke. Polino makes a move, gets taken off his stick there. Good defensive stick from Hiskinen. Now it goes the length of the ice, and Marshall will have to stick it aside for Samick. Samick sends it far side for Ferner. Ferner skates through neutral ice, dumps it deep. RPI goes in on the forecheck. Bowman lays a hit, gets the puck, and sends it up to the point for Bear, who sends a shot through that goes wide. Good setup there from Bowman and Bear. RPI continues to press on the forecheck with Morello, and they're buzzing right now. Linding comes through and pushes it towards the corner. Big Red goes back in retreat. Caldas lifts it high towards the scoreboard, bounces around, puck coming through, and Marshall blockers it aside, gets swept around behind the net. A lot of collisions, and Big Red will come away with it in the corner. Bear goes to work on Sam Malinsky, and Big Red comes away with it. Nope, Bowman back away with it. Bowman banks it off the glass and gets it out to neutral ice. Bowman and Bear with two pretty good shifts from each other. Now, moving in with speed is Andreev. He whips around, tries to find a point man, tries to center it, can't connect, bounces off a skate, and clears to neutral ice. To Grandy, plays a body. RPI gets the puck back with Johnson and Bear. Bear sends a pass through. It gets, bounces off the stick of Herman. Now Big Red moves up with Andreev. Little stick handle, drops it back, shot comes in, glove down by Marshall. So now we're starting to get a bit of an even, even back and forth. Yeah, Joe, really good job by Marshall so far in the beginning. Big scramble in front of his net with a couple Big Red and engineers in front of him. Did a really good job of sticking the puck aside uh, to give his team a better opportunity on offense. Um, right now, he's the credit for the engineers that I'm giving to the most right now. I think he's already got six saves on the night, just 6.44 uh, into the first period. Joe, things are running pretty smoothly. I can't say that the engineers are looking as strong as we've seen them before. I think they're just trying to get warmed up in this game, get a taste of what kind of style of play 
the big rider going for. I want to touch upon a few things. Um, I took some notes on a couple of common opponents that these two teams had. Um, when RPI played Harvard earlier this year, they take a 6-3 to three loss, while Cornell beat Harvard 3-1. to one. Good to see that both teams scored three goals against them, and I think defensively the engineers have really grown a lot better. And the goaltending situation has also improved between Savory and Marshall being a really good duo. You can trust either of them in that. And uh, RPI played Princeton earlier this season, I believe, at Princeton, and that was a 2-2 finish tie. Wow. Um, yeah, and that was a game they really felt they should have won. They had a 2-1 lead most of the Cornell game. Cornell came away with a 5-1 win against Princeton. So you can see Cornell on that early 10-game win streak they had at the beginning of the season. They were the last team to lose in all of Division I college hockey, I believe. Um, no good save. Yeah, so Cornell gets a quick shot there from, it looked like it was, it was Michael Ragouche and Marshall gloving it down. But yes, Cornell always one of the top teams in the country, always top five. Another faceoff here as Cornell comes away with it again. Another shot that comes from goal line extended. Marshall blockers the side. Ferner with a good move behind the net, but he loses the puck. Andreev gets, gets it back for Big Red. Brings it out of the zone briefly, except that Lepinen got a stick on it. So now RPI moves up. Gornel flips it in. RPI continues on the forward check. Ashbrook sweeps it away, bounces around, goes to the corner. RPI pressing. Gornel, Gornel with it. Cornell comes away with the puck. They get to neutralize, but Shelberg sends it right back in for RPI. Green sends it up, pushes it up towards neutralize. Pass goes through the leg. Now moving up with speed is Big Red. They'll drop back, and shot comes through, stick the side by Marshall to the corner, far corner. Now they'll center again, but the bint, or excuse me, Ashbrook able to get a stick on it, and he'll drop it back for Riley, who retreats behind his own net, makes a move, and then passes up to Zeke. Now Zeke's got some room. He'll make a move through the legs. Nothing comes of that, except he continues to possess the puck. Drops it off, now quick shot from Riley, goes wide. Now, Big Red comes back and here comes Green. Green takes a shot that goes wide. Wrists it just wa high and wide. Marshall didn't really touch it. Now Mitchell. Mitchell pushes it forward. Now he'll take it back. Taken there by Durbin. Durbin leaves it, but gets taken by Polino. Polino looks to make a move. Gets it nudged off his stick, but into the corner. Dubinsky drops it back. Zeke retreats behind the net, tries centering. Bowman whips a shot, but got taken off his stick there by the, by the captain, Yanni Caldas. Good defensive play there from Yanni Caldas as Zeke dumps it back in. Glided to stops behind his own net. Good setup there from Zeke, just putting it towards the net, and Bowman almost able to rip one high. Caldas takes it from behind his own net. He'll move up. Tries to pass it, and Morello intercepts. Morello brings it in, but quickly gets pushed off the stick. Now knifing through is Mullen. Mullen dumps it where it's taken by Bear. Bear skates up. Stick handles on the far side. Passes through. Morello unable to get a stick on it, and will get an icing. 10.37 to go. We are still scoreless. Shots 10 for Cornell, 2 for RPI, but... I think that might be a little misle misleading. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really think the numbers here speak too well for the engineers, obviously, with the 10 shots for the Big Red. But uh, I want to go back to that play with Green alone with Marshall. Really just trying to be too fine on the shot, Joe. You know, it's one of the oldest sayings in sports. Can't score if you don't put the puck on target. Um, I think that you're just trying to be too fine on the shot. If you put that on target, maybe you try to make Marshall make a save along with that. But Marshall's doing a really good job in that so far, Joe. Like we've said, 10 saves so far, just nearly halfway through the first period. So face-off win for RPI. Bear and Johnson do battle in the corner. Cornell looks to come away with it. They'll send it up to the half boards there, and they'll continue to cycle with Andreev. Andreev has it over by the circle, spins back, gets double teamed, leaves it there for Ragush, and Ragush mm, centers it, shot comes through, Marshall able to stick it aside. Wrist shot there from Sam Malinsky. Now Cornell continued to have, to have more and more pressure. 
Bear sweeps it behind for Johnson, who flicks it through for Bowman. Bowman gets his skate cut on a stick, but it loses the puck. Now Big Red moves back in. Riley tries to clear, but can't. And Cornell continues to press on the forecheck puck, bounces along the boards up high. Riley sends a man to the ice as Herman tries to clear. Big Red comes back with Bald. Bald moves through, gets it nudged off a stick there from Jerry, and DeGrand will retreat. He sends it over to Riley. Riley leaves it for Samick, who pushes it in for RPI. DeGrand goes in on the forecheck. Herman there. RPI trying to hold it in, but unable to as Betts pushes it up through Neutroyce. Riley gets it right back. Now to Samick, who leaves it there, and it's nudged off the stick of DeGrande, who sends it deep and goes off for a change. Bouncing off the stick of a big red player in front of his own net, but they're still able to push it up into offensive zone. Now coming back up is Gornel. Gornel gets in on sides, drops back, finds Ashbrook. Ashbrook rips a shot that goes high and over the net from the high slot area. Ferner pinches in. Don't see him do that too often. Ferner continues to press, and the puck gets out to neutralize, and Shelberg has to go back and retreat. Gornel gets it right back, backhands it in. Now Cornell re retreats. Caldas, outlets, leaves it for Donaldson. He'll move up. Now it's taken in, good backhand move, goes in front. Where is it? Lyndon Marshall has it. Beautiful move there from Jeff Mallott. That goes backhand, sweeps in front towards the slot area, and then gets a shot off that Marshall was able to cover up. What'd you see there, Matt? Joe, it was a great move in on Marshall, but he stepped up to the top of his crease to smother that play, right on the stick of the big red offense. Really good heads up play, reacting to that before he could get around to the outside pipe and sneak one behind Marshall. Marshall knew exactly what was going on right in front of him again. Really good vision so far tonight. Again, Joe, I don't want to keep harping on it, but this engineer's defense really sitting back playing on spending a lot of time in their defense. I, I think that might be because of the speed of Cornell. I, I, they're a fast team. They're always a fast really team. Well. And I think they just don't want to get caught off guard and they don't want to leave Marshall out to dry. They'd rather have someone in front. But, I mean, they're not afraid to take risks. Ferner jumped up in the play in the offensive zone. So I think it's, Cornell, it's kind of picking your battles with this team. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to come to capitalize it on the opportunities when you're 100% offensively minded at that moment. Otherwise, if you're not, if you're not opportunistic and you're not taking advantage of those opportunities, that's when you can get burned behind leaving Marshall alone. But so far, I've got good faith that Marshall is doing a very good job, solid job so far tonight in that with what I think is now 12 or 13 saves before the end of the first period. And that's a pretty big number for this point in the game, which scares me a little bit because, you know, what's going to be What statistically, one's got to go in at some point. So, well, it doesn't have to, Matt. But Not necessarily every time, yeah. 8.20 to go in the first. We are still scoreless. You're listening to live coverage of RPI men's hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. Dubinsky moves in on the near side, risks a shot that gets bounced off. That bounces off a stick, but RPI gets right at the point. Ferner whips one through, and Zeke there to deflect it, but Goleida all over it, and that's Matt Goleida, the senior. One of the best goalies in the ECAC, one of the best, probably one of the best in all of college hockey. So RPI will get an offensive zone faceoff, and they did get another shot. So now the shot's advantage is 12-3, Cornell. Andrea, no, it's going to be Linden getting removed from the faceoff dot. So Morello comes in, but Morello has played center, so no big deal for him. He'll, lock, he'll win the faceoff, but instead Cornell comes away with it, and that's Ragouche moving through. Ragouche gets the stick, nudge, gets the puck nudged off the stick, and RPI comes right back with Linden and Morello. Tor Linden pushes it forward, and Bowman goes to retreat, sends up to the point for Babichuk. Babichuk sends a shot through that gets blocked. Nice block there from Andrea. RPI keeps it in the zone with Riley, and then but Cornell now gets it out to neutral ice. Skating and looking for reinforcements is Morgan Barron. RPI gets it deep. Now it's taken by up ahead by the Big Red, who, and, but Ashford quickly intercepts that pass. Now Johnson has it on the near side. 
Jake Johnson drops it back for Ashbrook. They'll send it over to the far side for Riley, or excuse me, Shane Bear, who jump, dumps it deep. Now it's taken by Gornel. Gornel to Ashbrook. Ashbrook keeps it in. Sticks flying for Kyle Betts. RPI sends it to the near side corner. Gornel with it. Gornel leaves his back to a man, looking for the pass. Sends it up to the point for, for, for Johnson, who gets a nudge off the stick, and now they're gonna skate. Now Big Red will skate. Spin move coming through. Get, oh, good play there from Brady Ferner, and they can, RPI gets it back on the back check and is able to neutralize that rush that came in from Morgan Barron. Or excuse me, Ben Berard. As now RPI moves up with Herman. Herman flicks it deep. Goliath has to stop it and sent, swings it through to the far side. Ben Berard sends a pass through his legs up to Hiskinen, but Hiskinen fans on the pass. They still get through. Now moving in, shot comes in, bounces around from the body. RPI able to clear. Cornell gets it right back in. They'll send it in to the far side, far side now. Berard with it. Ben Berard hold, hold, leans his back into a man, keeps the puck in the offensive zone. Cornell will go off for a change, but keep the puck in the offensive zone. Now getting taken down was a big red player and a penalty coming up. Shot gets through. Boun puck bounces up high off an engineer stick and now dropping back. They'll get the extra skater. Block shot there from Herman. RPI still not able to get possession. They'll center it. Backhanded pass, shot comes through. Marshall blocks it aside a couple times. They'll center it again for Green. He'll send a shot through that goes wide. RPI unable to possess this puck. Cornell buzzing right now. And a sh another shot. No, a s they'll send it over. Puck bounces around. Marshall is all over the net right now. Cornell is just ripping him. Now it's taken by Donaldson. Donaldson with it along the half boards. They'll set up their six on five. Now Mitchell has it, he'll send it over to Green. Green sends it to the corner, and now Ferner finally able to get a whistle. Marshall bending to his knees, trying to catch a breath. 4.50 to go in the first. RPI zero, Cornell zero, but RPI is absolutely gassed after DeGrande took a penalty. Looked like a bit of a hole. Joe, that was one of the longest delayed penalty calls I think I've ever seen in live hockey. That was an insane defensive performance by the engineers. Um, wow, Marshall, two really big saves. He, uh, I didn't see who it was for Cornell, but had Marshall craning his way over to his right post, had to make an extending glove save. Um, unfortunately, couldn't hold on to the puck, really just a reaction save to push it aside. And then again, a one-timer saved on a diving effort by Marshall again. And now, after all this exciting defensive work, the engineers are suffering a two-minute penalty kill now, and just, I can only imagine more shots coming Marshall's way, but he's doing a fantastic job. 14 saves on the night with 4.50 left to go in the first period. Not a lot to say for the engineers' offense. We've seen a couple shots get blocked. The Big Red's doing a really good job defensively of keeping a lot of the pressure off the And that's about all I've seen so far, Joe. Yeah, luckily RPI was able, to, there was a media stoppage because there wasn't any breaks between the 10 minute mark and now. So they were able to get a, a little bit of a breather for their penalty killers, some of whom were out there on that last shift. But now they'll skate four on five with 4.50 to go here in the first period. Face off coming, it's Andreev for Cornell and they'll win it back, but Polino able to clear. So RPI, a good start to their, to their penalty kill. Cornell not doing what they exactly what they wanted to do. Dropping it back there, it's Green with it. Alex Green will move up. S Cornell moves in on sides very easily. Now they'll set up. Taken there by Malinsky at the point. Over to Caldas. Now Barron with it. Barron sends a shot through, and Marshall covers it up immediately. But Cam Donaldson right there, ready to take a whack. Another good save by Marshall Joe, doing an outstanding job so far. 
Not giving up too many rebounds. Not giving up a whole lot of rebounds. I think maybe two or three out of the 15 saves he's had just because they've come from point blank rage. Doing a really good job of keeping the engineers in this one, hoping that they can catch a lucky break on offense. All right, as we get set for the faceoff here. Andre of going with Ashbrook, I believe. He'll get kicked out, and so Barron set to take the face off for a big red. Big red wins the face off back to Molinsky. He'll send it over to the far side, back up at the point above the ECAC hockey logo for Molinsky. Now they send it below to the red line. Barron pushes it through, shot comes in from the slot. RPI able to clear, but a great setup there, a tic tac toe setup. For, for Big Red. RPI still unable to clear. Barron has it along the point. Drops it back. Caldus with it. He'll send it over. Shot comes through high and over the net. Andreev looks to the heavens as he had a wide open cage. Marshall had to go post to post. Was able to get cover enough of the net to, send, to make Andreev send it high. Cornell gets back in on sides. 39 seconds to go on the penalty on the power play for Big Red. Green with it. Alex Green sends it across to the far side. Back over to Green on the near side. He pushes it over and they'll send it through. Pucks boxes around and they score. Big Red breaks through on the power play. And that's looks like Tristan Mullen going to get the goal. At, with 3.14 to go in the first, Cornell, Big Red takes a 1-0 lead, and he, as you said, you figured one of them was going to go in because they've just been peppering Marshall all night. Yeah, yeah Joe, I mean, if Andrea wasn't going to do it on that one play, trying to roof it, it was coming soon. Good initial save by Marshall, just popped right back out in front of him. He was already on the ground to try and cover it. Not a lot he could do about that one, just being out of position with no defensive support. Yeah, so we'll see how RPI responds. They've been known to respond to these quick goals here as Marshall drops it back to, to along the half boards. RPI looking to clear and do. Bowman with it. He'll drop it back. But for Bear, who tips it off a Linden stick and pushes it deep. Now it's taken back there by Heiskanen. Over to Malone. Malone gets it taken off the stick, but then Big Red quickly pushes back to Steinberg. They come in on sides, but Shane Bear quickly pushes it up ice for RPI. Zeke collides with a man as Malone comes back through. Bear will retreat behind his own net. He's got to avoid some forechecking pressure. He'll move up. Sweeps it forward, but Zeke dumps it in. Puck takes an awkward bounce off the Zamboni doors, and now RPI comes in on the forecheck. Ferner stops it in neutral ice and sends it right back in. And slingshots it right back in. Polino with it on, on, on behind the net. Goleta looking around, trying to find the puck. Polino and Dubinsky kicking at it. And Big Red will come away with it with Matt Steinberg. Steinberg moves up and will flick it high down the ice. Shelberg comes in with it. He gets knocked down from behind, but it does enough to get it up to Polino along the near boards. Farner with it now. He'll sweep it forward and around. RPI trying to respond. Zeke here with it. Gets it taken off the stick. Riley comes pushing in. Now Dubinsky is coming in on the forecheck. Really heavy forecheck here from, from Dubinsky, or excuse me, from Ashbrook and Lepinen. Gornall with it, he'll lay a body on a man, but coming away with it was Mullen. RPI gets it right back. Ashbrook backhands, tries to, tries to come in behind the net. Now moving up his high skin in. Cornell looking to outlet and stave off this RPI attack. But RPI, they'll get it right back. Andreev swing, swings around. Looking for a centering man, pushes it in. Good defensive play there from Bear. Bear saw that pass all the way through, and RPI comes right back with Gornel and Lepinen. Gornel and Lepinen trying to find each other. Yanni Collins comes away with it. A beautiful defensive play from Shane Bear to prevent what could have been another Cornell goal. That, went, that puck went right through the goal now. 
Now moving up with speed is Donaldson. Donaldson sends a man to the ice, but gets the puck taken off his stick. Shot deflects out of play. Good play from Tor Linden. 19.7 seconds to go here in the first. Cornell up 1-0. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Men's Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. Well, Joe, if RPI is not going to have a quantity or of offensive opportunities, they certainly need to have a quality opportunities. They've spent a lot of time playing in the offensive zone with little shots to show for it. All right, as Cornell wins the faceoff, gets a shot through from the point but RPI clears out to neutralize. Going back for it, it is Heiskanen. Heiskanen will zip behind his own net and push it forward. Tap pass there as the period ends. Again, your score is Cornell one, RPI zero. And after one, what did you see, Matt? Uh, really strong offensive presence from the big red. We saw the power play goal. Uh, by Mullen for the Big Red to get the scoring off as Cornell leads 1-0. Going into the second period, Joe unfortunately minimal offensive presence from the engineers. A mere three shots on goal, five face-offs, one to the Big Reds, nine. Uh, it's, I mean, the penalty kill was pretty detrimental. I mean, on top of the two-minute uh, the two minute penalty, there was about another minute tacked on for the delay penalty. So pretty much three minutes of that period, man down. Um, on top of all the defensive pressure that the engineers were facing already was, was just too much to not give up a goal. Really good job to Lyndon Marshall so far, attacking 15 saves on 16 shots on goal, keeping the engineers alive in this one. Really gonna need to see some more offense, well-organized offense from the engineers, because Joe, they do spend time in the offensive zone, but shots are getting blocked and opportunities aren't really being created. To and the that's part of Cornell's game. style. They do play a style with that encourages players to block shots. Yeah. So I agree with you that it's gonna have to be a quality over quantity, because they're not getting the quantity against this team. Absolutely, and that's, you know, I'm not really giving credit where it's due, and I'm saying jobs to the Cornell defense. And obviously backed by their goaltender, Matt Gaia. Uh, uh, things are working out really well. Shut out in the first period so far. Things are going exactly how they want them to defensively. Um, obviously, they had a couple of missed opportunities offensively as well that I'm sure they'd like to have back. But that's part of the game, missed opportunities that you just have to kind of deal with and, and build off of later. Um, so I think one nothing is not, not a horrible situation. For it's not an unclimbable mount. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back for the for the intermission inter, for the intermission. We'll give you some more analysis of the game, and your score after one period is RPI zero, Cornell one. You are listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy.
right, welcome back to the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. The score after one period is RPI 0, Cornell 1. You are listening to the live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. A couple announcements to make before the period gets started. We'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI Hockey, Football, and Baseball. Just a reminder, RPI, WRPI is on the World Wide Web, born your browser to WRPI.org, and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As long as WRPI is broadcasting, we will provide the broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that is WRPI.org. Welcome back here as we get set. The second period, it is underway. Batichuk will send a puck in deep back to Lida, pushes to the near corner. Big Red pushing back, but Riley pinches in. Aggressive play there from the defenseman as he keeps the puck in the offensive zone. Big Red looks to break out, and now we've got a breakaway going the other way. Shot comes in, goes high and wide. That was Tristan Mullen. Looking for his second of the night, Joe. Good break for the engineers. As Cornell gets it right back, that's Cody Heisken in. Cornell sends it deep. Taken by Riley, who drops it off for Shelberg. RPI pushes back out with DeGrande. Danny DeGrande drops it in. Jerry now with it. Jerry on his knee, able to get a shot through that Delida has to cover. So RPI coming back strong, coming back with a vengeance here in this second period. And we saw Will Riley jump up in the play, pinch in along the half boards there. And as a result, Tristan Mullen was able to get a, a breakaway the other way. Yeah, Joe, interesting, interesting decision there, kind of defensively. Already giving up a quick break like that, but again, a lucky break for the engineers as it didn't cost them on the scoreboard, so kind of act like it never happened. And we'll get another face off here in the engineer zone. Linden set to take the face off. One back by Cornell. Now they move up with Molinsky. Molinsky flicks it high. Ferner able to corral the puck. He'll leave it for Linden. Linden pushes up for Bowman. Bowman sweeps it over to Morello and they are unable to connect. Bowman whips a shot through. That gets gloved down by Goleida, or blocked down by Goleida rather. Now Big Red moves it through. They sweep the pass through. Two on one coming, but broken up. Beautiful play there from Brady Ferner. Shot, another shot comes through, bounces up. And Lyndon Marshall able to take care of it. Now B Big Red buzzing. They'll send another shot through to the put. They'll put another pass through to the slot, but RPI able to sweep it to the corner. Ferner with it now. He'll bank it off the boards for Lyndon. Lyndon dra drops back to Ferner as Big Red retreats. Now Ferner skates up with it. He'll rip it to the corner. RPI goes off for a change. Molinsky with it. They'll play catch behind the net. Matt Cairns with it. Leaves it for Andreev. Andreev sends a puck that goes flying into the Big Red bench. Yeah, that was a scary puck. <laughs> See a lot of the coaching staff looking under that one, Joe. That's, I don't know. Well, big red bench, big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> seven. Oh, go ahead, Joe. No, just 17.43 to go in the second. Cornell still up one zip. I was going to say, play's looking pretty even at the start of the second. Already nothing too crazy going on for either side. A couple saves for Marshall already. Faceoff coming for Dubinsky. He'll win it back for Johnson. And Johnson banks it off the boards and for Zeke. Now Bear moves up. He'll drop it in, but it gets blocked down there by Big Red. And now they'll skate up with Morgan Barron. Barron centers it. Andreev unable to get a shot off. They'll cycle now. Big Red circling around, centering, intercepted there by Zeke. And now breaking out there's Polino. Polino's got wheels. He'll drop back though. Now he'll send it into the corner, gets it taken off a stick, and now Big Red moves the other way with Morgan Barron. Barron waits for Andrea, whips a shot that goes high off the glass. Oh boy, back and forth. Polino almost able to get by the Big Red defense. Yeah, 
Yeah, good heads up play by Polino. Just didn't have the, the capacity to skate coast to coast on that one and break through for an offensive breakaway. The big red shot selection's really good right now, Joe, but they're just trying to be too fine with it. They got to give themselves more quality of opportunities, I guess, on top of the 17 shots on goal that they have already just three minutes into the second period. Steinberg pushes the puck forward for Big Red. Samick looked like he kind of got hooked on the play from Mallette, but our, the Big Red will come away with it as they'll continue to cycle. Riley with a nice poke check there, and he'll sweep it through to the near side now for Samick. As Samick looks up ice, he finds Ashbrook. Ashbrook dodges a man and finds Gornel. Gornel and Lepening get in on sides. Now Lepening gets it through for Ashbrook, who gets tripped up. Oh boy, this looked like someone was grabbing his skate. Samick loves it down in neutral ice and dumps it right back in. And now we get a stoppage of play. Good guy, that was a really beautiful play there at the blue line between Olepinen and Gornel. I don't know how they got in on sides, but just some fancy little nifty, nifty craft work. Really good job between those two. And Joe, you know, we haven't really talked about it much. This game has been very physical. Um, since the opening faceoff in the first period, and we're starting to see it. Things getting a little more chippy out here. A couple no call potential penalties, but. Hey, play on. As Bear sends it deep, Goliath stops behind the net and rips it back up the glass. DeGrande gets a shot through, but gets blocked again in front by that Cornell defense. And now Matt Cairns will drive the length of the ice hill. He and Bear collide behind the net, and RPI now looks to outlet. DeGrand unable to con DeGrandi unable to connect with Jerry. And so now we play in neutral ice. Cornell looks to break through and does with Mullen. Tristan Mullen sweeps around. Try center and gets stood up there by, by Shane Bear. As RPI flicks it high off the glass and out to neutral ice. Cornell has to get back and do. Johnson gets taken down behind the play, and now RPI is going to go on the power play, and they'll skate six on five for a little as Marshall gets to the bench. Little tap in off a st stick from DeGrand, trying to find Bear. RPI trying to set up the six on five now with Johnson. Johnson lays it back for Bear, who sends it up for DeGrandi, and now DeGrandi moves in. On side, drops back for Bowman. Bowman, Rick Flood! Goliath covers. Right into the chest of Goliath Joe, really good opportunity by, uh, for Bowman. Just uh, you know, hoping to make a little more. I was such a clear opportunity there. I was glad to see them connect on the passes on the back end when Marshall went flying off the ice. And to get that extra skater, they were able to take advantage of the extra skater and pass it back and forth. Because it looked like Cornell still kind of had the puck a little bit. But Bear, and they were, Bear was able to communicate with DeGrande, and they were able to move up and get a quality opportunity yeah. with not while not being on the power play. So now they get a full two minutes. They did a good job developing the play offensively. Hopefully inspiring for the power play coming up. Well, it starts off with Cornell clearing the length of the ice on, off the high clear as Marshall leaves it here for Babichuk. Corey Babichuk, the freshman defenseman, moves up. He'll drop it back there for Polino, who gets a lot of speed. Stick handles through, gets it into the corner, keeps it on his stick, whips it over to Riley along the half boards, who sweeps it around for Polino. Gets up to the board, but Babichuk unable to get there. Babichuk was at the center point, not the near far boards. So RP we'll have to reset. Babichuk again moves up. Drops it back for Polino, who again has speed and gets it on sides. Now he whips it around for Zeke, who takes it along the half boards. Zeke trying to get it up to the point and does. There for Babichuk, who's now at the point. For Riley, Riley right above the ECIC hockey logo. Sweeps over to Polino, fakes the shot. Down by a goal line extended. Over to Zeke. Up top for Dubinsky. Dubinsky and Babichuk play catch. RPI able to get some openings here on this power play if they can skate fast enough. Babichuk and Riley play catch. Now moving in with his Riley who sends a shot through, but laying down on the ice is Alex Green as his he was able to pick up the pass of Riley and sweep it the length of the ice. That's what I'm talking about, Joe. Just playing a little too cute offensively. Sometimes you just got to let the shots fly and see if you can catch a rebound. Babichuk leaves it for Ashbrook, who knifes his way through. Babichuk, or Ashbrook in the corner now. 
He's got it tied up on the boards with his buddy Gornel. RPI gets a shot through to the slide. Ashbrook gets it back, up to the point for Shelberg. Ashbrook and Shelberg unable to connect, but Ashbrook gets it back. Now they connect. Shelberg fakes a shot from the point, sweeping around for Bear. Shot comes through, bounces high off the netting. And so we'll get a face off. Shane Bear with a good little opportunity. Pretty good power play for RPI. They've been able to get into the zone very cleanly, whether it's Polini, Polino knifing his way through or Ashbrook sweeping his way in. Just 13.23 to go. Cornell 1, RPI 0. But RPI able to get themselves set up for the power play, which is always huge. Yeah, really good possession on the power play so far. Yet to see an on goal opportunity. Joe would love to see a quick shot if the faceoff's won, but it's not. Yes, as Cornell, Big Red looks to clear, but cannot with Morello holding in from the line. Gets a shot through, gets a, bounces off a of Bowman. Glided didn't know where it was, as Linden looking to keep RPI in on the forecheck as Tristan Mullen comes out of the box. So a couple good chances, but nothing to show for it for RPI in that, off that first power play. As now Big Red moves in with Donaldson, gets a stick lifted, drops it back, and they score! Oh my, how did Donaldson get that puck through? Marshall was on one side, it was a drop back pass through the legs. Just, that was really just a beautiful setup there. And it looks like it's gonna be Mullins again, getting that, se getting that second goal for Cornell. It, it looks like, it looked like I think Mullins was the one who got the shot off. Really creative assist through the legs. He's already past the net. I'm trying to watch the replay. It's blacking out on me. Um, yeah, definitely Mullen's second goal of the night, though. You can see right here, Joe, on the replay. Skates past that right pipe and just dumps one into the center. Had Marshall all the way over. Protecting that post. Yeah, not much he can do. Pass. I mean, who puts a pass through their legs when they're two feet in front of the goalie? But that's that's what Cam Donaldson does. And right after the RPI power play too, Joe. That's just a that's a dagger you don't want to see for the engineers. Yeah. So Tristan Mullen will get credit with the goal. So now RPI Cornell up 2-0 over RPI, 12.50 to go in the second. One back, face off one back by RPI. Ferner pushes it through neutral ice, but Big Red will come away with it. Now skating up through is Cairns, he'll dump it in deep. Johnson drops it back for Ferner. Ferner looks up, finds Herman. Herman sweeps it in. DeGrande gives chase. He'll lay a body on a man. Herman does too, but Big Red comes right back out with it. Loka coming with it. Sends a shot through Marshall, bounces around, covers it up. Good cover by Marshall, way not to cough up a rebound. Yeah, it looked like Brendan Locke there. Got the shot off. It just seems to be, Joe, that every offensive opportunity for the Big Red, they just, you know, it's a three on two or a two on one, just a man up opportunity. They just transition so quickly to offense and they have such a quick press and they get to the goal very quickly. They don't spend a lot of time passing the puck around in the offensive zone. They just go right for goal. Yeah, fast feet. That's, that's how the Big Red have always been, fast feet. And 12-11 uh, 12, 12, to go here at Cornell. It looks like they're, they are going to give they're going to give the goal uh, to Brendan Locke off the assist from Cam Donaldson and Tristan Mullen. So Mullen does not get his second of the night. But still, he was on the ice and he did get a point for... It's definitely for, part of the play. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So Tristan Mullen having a pretty good game here for Big Red. But uh, RPI, they, they, they do... This spear they have looked stronger, in my opinion. I think they have looked stronger... Um, offensively, yeah. Offensively Absolutely on the ice. A, uh, more of a presence. Again, the shot count not really showing much for it, but the time on attack is definitely there this period, so the opportunities are going to have to be rolling through soon for the engineers. As we get set for a faceoff in the RPI defensive zone, Dupinski set to take it.
Cornell wins it back, and they'll send it over to Driven. Driven takes it up along the blue line, sends it back in for Morgan Barron. Barron sends it through. Chase Zeke banks it off the glass. Taken by Barron. Barron goes back behind the net. He'll sweep it over to the far side. Dropping it off there for Driven. Driven shot gets deflected high and out of play. Cornell continuing to press, but it, Corey Babichuk with a good defensive play to knock the puck off of his stick. Polino now skates up with it. He'll dump it in. Going to the corner is Dubinsky. RPI looking to dig it out. Cornell comes away with it. Now they'll skate up on the far side. Shot comes in. Marshall gloves it down, drops it back behind the net as Bear takes it. Bear sweeps it forward. Polino tips it in, and RPI goes off for a change. Alex Green pushes it forward as Big Red stops in front of their own net. Ashbrook intercepts. Now they dump it in. Marshall again leaves it for Bear, who sweeps it forward for Gornel. Gornel up to Ashbrook. Bear goes into the corner there with Steinberg. Ashbrook and him do battle. Ashbrook and Steinberg, they'll continue to press on the, on the cycle. Shot comes through and in. The rebound got through. Tough rebound. Yeah, I, I'm not, I, it was a really quick, really quick sh shot off the rebound there as I'm trying to see who ends up getting the, getting quality, gets, gets the chance, the goal. And it's gonna be number 22, Jeff Mullutt. He gets the rebound off a really nice shot there from Big, from Big Red. So now they take a 3-0 lead with 10.30 to go here in the second period. RPI has to respond before it gets too steep. Shelberg when sends it over to Ferner. Ferner pushes it up for Bowman. Bowman leaves it for Morello over to Bowman. Shot comes through, gets pushed down by the Cornell defense. Big Red pushes back. Bowman almost intercepts, but Big Red will come back with Mullen. Tristan Mullen swings in, moves around, tries to wrap around, but no good. Bowman stands him up on the far half boards. Knocks him off the puck with Shelbert. Now Linden has it. Tor Linden pushes it forward but for Bowman, but they're unable to connect Snicks. And so now we have an icing. Joe, 3-0 is a little bit of a different story than 1-0 how we saw it going into this period. Again, Marshall are improving offensively. Marshall, a couple unlucky bounces. Yeah. Really on these last two goals. Well, the second goal is really just coming from a great offensive play by the Big Red, but goal number three off a tough skate rebound. Yeah, and Marshall almost was able to make the second save on that rebound, but just too much, too much offense for Big Red. And so now they'll take it behind the net with Yanni Caldas. Caldas sends it forward where it's taken back by Jerry who dumps it in for RPI. Now Dervin with it. Dervin moves it up there for Block, who loses the puck to Grand now. DeGrand will skate in. Stick handles, gets it taken off the stick by Dervin. They'll send it towards the net, bounces off the side of the cage. Herman continuing to press with Jerry as that line puts some pressure on Goleida. But Big Red able to clear, but it's going to be an icing, so RPI gets an offensive zone faceoff. Joe, you just never know which little opportunity is going to be a spark for the engineers. It could be this offensive zone faceoff here. Quick winning shot opportunity, or just a, a, we haven't really seen a good offensive possession from the engineers since their power play um, at the beginning of this period, which ultimately ended in an even strength, Big Red goal, so. You know, we'd like to see the engineers take advantage of some of their offense opportunities here before things really seem to get out of hand. All right, so 8.50 to go here in the second. Bear sends a shot in, but Goliath up to the task, pushes it down. 
Polino with it. He'll swing around, wrap around. Does not go in, but a good opportunity there from Patrick Polino. Gianni Caldas moves up. He'll flick it high in the air, but Johnson quickly gets that puck back for Bear. Bear pushes it forward. Zeke with it. He'll leave it for Polino. Polino unable to move with the puck. Big Red comes right back and moving up with it is Andrea. Now a tic-tac-toe opportunity and Marshall swallows it up as Big Red was zing zinging the puck up and down all over the ice. Morgan Barron, Alex Andreev the cr to get credit for that. But really Marshall good. puts a stop to it. Yeah, really good glove save by Marshall. Really cut off the angle well, stepped up, extended the arm and, and caught that one and, and no rebound that time. Safe cover in the glove by Marshall. Not giving any more second chances to the Big Red as clearly they've been costly for the RPI defense. All right, so 8.03 to go here in the second period. You're listening to live coverage of RPI men's hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy, and I believe we have a goaltending change coming as it's Alec Calvaruso on the ice warming up. Interesting here, because Marshall really hasn't played that bad. I, I think this might just be more of a trying to wake up the players sort of thing, because Marshall has been just moving. He, he's made the saves he's supposed to make, really. I mean, the three goals on the board for Cornell are just great offensive plays. I mean, through the lay, like. Uh, re I mean, rebounds. I mean, those things just happen to every goaltender. It's just so much offensive pressure is being put on. Yeah, I think it's 21 shots Cornell has now. But a goaltending change comes nonetheless as Big Red wins the faceoff here. They'll send it through. Ashbrook now moves in for RPI. Again, sends a shot through that Goliath and covers up. the quick shot opportunity by the engineers Joe because at this point you know you just got to start warming up your sticks you got to start firing some shots you trail 21 shots on goal to 11 by the big red who are up three nothing on you you're looking for the quick not a quick answer you're just looking for an answer before the end of this period otherwise you're trailing by three possibly more going into the third period Linden wins the faceoff back to Riley who sends a shot through that goes high and into the netting Face off one back. Morello over to Riley, who puts a pe pass through through the slot, but no one there. As Big Red sends it the length of the ice now. Icing gets called off there. Riley got beaten to the puck. As but RPI now outlets and moves up. Bowman with it on the near side. He'll send try to push it through. Gets hip checked as Cornell comes back with it. Linden. Stick handles through, Babchuk unable to keep it in, and now Samick has it in neutral ice, and he'll sweep it behind the net, and Bowman will give chase. Now it goes the length of the ice, and Cornell beats out the ice again. Centering pass there from the slot, but RPI able to sweep it away with Samick. Now Zeke with it. Zeke gets his shot blocked off a of boot, and now It'll come back out to center ice for Samick. Samick pushes it forward for Dubinsky. Cornell gets it right back. And now we've got some back and forth action here with Ferner pushing it in for RPI on the near side. Leaving it there for Big Red. Now they take it on the far side with Molinsky. Molinsky sets his pass through as Calvaruso stops behind the net for Bear. Bear pushes it forward, where it's taken by Polino, who dumps it in. Big Red gets it right back with Heiskanen. Heiskanen moves up, dumps the puck off. RPI comes away with it. 
Now it's Lepinen moving up. He'll bank it off the boards and chase after it himself. He gets knocked off the puck, comes towards center, and RPI unable to get a shot off. Ashbrook with it along the blue line. He'll send one through, bounces off the stick of Goleida. Lepinen with it in the corner. He'll sweep it along to the far side. Bear and Ashbrook give chase. Gornall gets it taken off his stick, and it's Berard with it behind his own net. Ben Berard rips it up to neutralize. Shelberg with it. Over to Gornall, who puts it through his legs and finds Herman. Now Herman skates in on sides. Rory Herman. They'll leave it for Ferner. Ferner dumps it in behind the net, where it's taken by DeGrande. DeGrande backhands it over to Jerry. Now Jerry moves behind the net. Takes it along the half boards, gets it up to the point for Shelberg, who rips a shot through that Goliath gloves down easily and pushes out to neutral ice. RPI trying to come right back in with Herman and do. They get in on sides. Herman gets knocked over and out of the zone. Jerry will now sweep it in towards Goliath, who blockers it down, and Big Red gets it right back. Yanni Caldas with it behind the net. Caldas, stick handling, waiting for man, finds one in bold as Ball drops it deep. Riley with it behind his own net. Leaves it there for Bowman. As forecheck pressure comes in, Calvaruso able to hold the pipe. As they'll continue to press, another shot comes through, RPI able to clear. Linden with it, Linden moves by the red line, skates in on sides, pushes it to the corner. Big Red comes with Travis Mitchell clearing. He'll back it in behind his own net for Green. Green trying to bank it off. Now moving up with it is Betts. Kyle Betts moves on the near side, stops on a dime by the circle, tries to get a pass, so that gets deflected along the glass on the far side. Puck bounces around off of the of RPI defenseman as Calvarusa will have to cover. Joe, RPI has woken up a little bit offensively now at 14 shots on goal in that category. Despite probably having, I'd say seven or eight shots blocked by the Big Red defense this game. I mean, really just an outstanding job defensively. This Big Red team is really well coached in their play style and staying true to how they just want to perform on the ice. They are, in its most simple form, they are, they are outplaying the engineers. I mean, you see their forecheck creating more and more offensive opportunities. You're seeing them able to just transition the puck into the offensive zone uh, pretty cleanly in, in a, such a composed way in which you, we've seen the engineers work in that way before, so it's frustrating to see that being done to them at home. But I don't see an answer coming anytime soon from the engineers. I really think it might they might just be looking for a leader out there on the ice, someone, you know. And I think that's going to. Energy, creating some opportunity, whether it be, you know, Captain Will Riley, or I've had in my notes that Polino's created a number of offensive opportunities already. He's had a couple shots blocked, put a couple on goal, and he was big in the power play and really trying to create some opportunities as well. I agree. I think it's they've got plenty of senior leadership here. A guy like Zeke breaking through or would be huge here. Burgess isn't dressed but he's another one that I normally look to to provide that leadership there as it now the puck comes through for Big Red. Polino moves up with it for RPI. He'll skate with some speed. He's got Johnson who gets knocked off the puck, but not before he's able to get it deep. Now taken behind the net by Zeke. Zeke up to the point for Johnson who sends a shot through, bouncing around, Glida covers it up. So just uh, some information here on the new goaltender. It's Alec Calvaruso. He's from Livonia, Michigan, 6'2", 180. And he, went, he played for the Sioux Falls Stampede of, in the USHL and for Colorado College in 2018 and 2019. So last season he played half a season with Colorado College and then played another half a season in, back in juniors. Uh, before transferring to RPI. So faceoff comes through. 
bounces off the glass. Now Cornell clears to center. Ferner pushes it back in with Ashbrook. Over to Lepinen. Lepinen tries to seam and pass through and able to on the second opportunity. But Big Red, Big Red moves right back up there with Mullins. Or excuse me, Barron. Now RPI moves up with Lepinen. He'll swing it over to Gornel. Gornel's got some space. Bounces a shot off. Rebound. Uh, Goliath looking for it. They'll continue to press. And Lepinen comes away with it. Or excuse me, Goliath comes away with it. But Lepinen was able to get a couple whacks at it. And I think that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to force a, a, a rebound opportunity. That's the only way they're going to beat Goliath. And you can see Gornel, he banks it off of the, off of the, the blocker and then it gets kicked out. Shelburne came flying in. Lepinen was getting a couple whacks at it, but you know, if they can get one before the period ends, now it's a two goal lead. And you know what they say, a two goal lead is the worst goal lead. Yeah. So you're going into the second period with just a two goal deficit. Really good effort by Galata there. Definitely the most tested he's been the entire game, Joe, having to save that rebound and cover it. All right. as. Corey Babichuk moves it behind his own net. RPI resets. Riley takes it along the near side. He'll move up, S stretches a pass through that Morello deflects up and into the glass on the, uh, in the offensive zone. Uh, now Morello forces a turnover in the slot, but quickly recovering was Yanni Caldas as that puck goes out of play. 1.52 to go. RPI has closed up the shots on goal advantage. It's 22 for Cornell, 17 for RPI. That's a big improvement. Joe, I'm pretty sure after coming out of the first period with six shots on goal, if I'm not mistaken. So the offense has definitely woken up here. We've seen Goliath had to make a couple saves now this period. They're really itching for an opportunity to go into the back of the net here. Hopefully, ideally before the period ends. But if they have to have, if they have to save three for the third period to make this game exciting, I wouldn't mind that. So Dubinsky drops it back there. Polino able to send it over to the near boards, but not in as Riley will now rip it in on the far side. Zeke centers it there, dropping back as Babichuk finds Polino along the boards. Polino trying to keep it in, is able to, despite good defense there. Gets a pick from Mullen, shot comes through! Oh, run! Dubinsky almost able to get it in. Riley has it at the point. Now he'll skate with it. Over to Polino, who lost it off the stick, but RPI able to keep it in with Babichuk. He'll send it over to Polino. Polino takes a couple cracks at it, and now we've got a penalty coming up. As Cornell will now try and skate six on five to end the period. A minute left, shot comes through, does, but goes to the corner. Now they'll press. Cornell continuing to press up top with Mitchell. He loses it to neutralize as they'll reset. Moving up with it is Big Red. Coming, stick handling through is Cairns. Mitchell with it, now he'll drop it back for a lock. Over to Andreev, Andreev loses it for a moment but gets it right back. Now up to the point there from Green. Green tries to set up a one-time shot, cannot. And now he'll send it over but the pass gets intercepted by Zeke. So with 18.7 seconds to go, RPI will be on the penalty kill. And they are down 3-0. Joe, I didn't think we were going to see a penalty there. It looked like the uh, the linesman referee had waved it safe, but I think Polino was just cracking his stick. Yeah, and got a late tripping call. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing that's what it Either is. Either tripping or yeah, tripping or a slash. I was going to say. Oh uh, yeah. They're calling it a trip here. And now Ashbrook set to take the draw. Sent up to the point there, where it's taken by Cairns. Cairns leaves it for Donaldson. Donaldson with that beautiful assist earlier. Cairns over to the far side. Shot comes through. Calvaruso doesn't get much on it, but it goes high and wide. Now they'll send another one across ice, and that puck bounces off the side of the net. So Cornell certainly getting their fair share of opportunities to end the period. Not a great period for RPI. They give up two more. They do get some offensive 
opportunities, but they were unable to cash in, and now they've got to kill off another minute 40 of this power play. Yeah, Joe, they did a really good job of in and evening up the game in other stat areas, you know, 17-18 face-offs, Cornell leading that category, 22-17 shots on goal, Cornell leading that category. But you know, the one that matters most, the goals, they're lacking right now. Cornell leads 3-0. We're going to need an early answer to get the ball rolling for the engineers if we want to see uh, an exciting finale to this game. If not, it looks like Cornell might be walking away uh, with a win, possibly with a shutout for Goleta. Yeah, he's had a couple this season. So the score after two periods is RPI 0, Cornell 3. You're listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI, Troy.
So welcome back here to the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. I'm Joseph Pisticano, joined here by Matt Abraham, and you are listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy as we get set for the third period. It is Cornell 3, RPI 0. Russo in net for RPI. He got put in halfway through 
the second after after Marshall gave up too many. Linden wins it back. RPI shorthanded for the first minute and 40 seconds and they clear immediately. Now it's taken back by Cairns. Cairns have it, has it for Big Red. Linden forcing a couple turnovers behind the net there. Creating havoc as he goes off for a change. Cairns now moves up. Drops it back for Donaldson. Now skating through with speed. Knifing his way through is Andreev. Leaves it back for Molinsky. Now over to Molinsky again. Shot comes through. Blocker to side. And that will go the length of the ice. So off the rebound from Morgan Barron. Molinsky leaves it there for Calver, or excuse me, for Caldas. Now Donaldson put, pushes himself through, gets it to, over to Molinsky. Cornell is set up on the power play. 40 seconds to go. Barron leaves it in. Shot comes through one time. Andreev unable to get enough on it. Andreev gets it back. Over to Barron at the circle. He'll send it over far side. Now they sweep it around and Ooh, that was a dangerous play there, but Samick managed to bounce it out of the air and then clear it to neutral ice. Malinsky with it. He comes through. Drops it back for Caldas. Caldas over to Barron. Up at the point now is Barron. Leaves it for Caldas. The two captains play catch. Now they move in one last time. They'll swing around. Good poke check there from Samick as RPI kills off the man advantage. Shot comes through, whips around, bangs off. RPI clears to neutralize and now they'll skate. Big Red gets it right back. Now moving with it is Mullet. Mullet skates up now on the far side. He'll knife his way through, moves in, Dangles around a couple of engineers. Now get, then gets over to the far side. Shot comes through, deflected in by Ragush, but he is unable to get on that. And now DeGrande will skate the other way. DeGrande swings over to the far side, loses the puck, drops it back. First defenseman, shot comes through, and Goleida covers it up. Bear able to rip a shot through. 17.38 to go in the third. Cornell up 3-0. Uh, good start for the engineers. Better start. For the big red, Joe, a couple one-time opportunities already. Having a power play will do that. Yeah, for, for the power play, good penalty kill, though for the engineers nonetheless. Uh, I like seeing the quick shots on offense. We just like to see them come from anywhere closer than the blue line. Cornell wins the faceoff and banks it off the near boards, but RPI will send it right back in. Green with it behind the net. Alex Green moves up. He'll send it off for Davinsky. Dubinsky gets it back, banks it off the glass, and sweeps it over for Ziki. Ziki tries to clear, but cannot. But gets blocked down, and the shot gets blocked down by Dubinsky. He'll rip it high in the air, where it, but Heiskanen will take it from behind his own net. Now he moves up. His pass gets intercepted. Ferner sends it right back in. Polino forcing, her, forcing the issue on the forecheck. Polino has along the half boards, gets it to Dubinsky, but his shot gets blocked. Now Ziki drops it back for Dubinsky. Shot comes through, bounces off the pipe. They have ring iron, but no cigar for RPI. Ferner backhands it over to Shelberg. Now Shelberg up to Polino. Polino finds Morello, shot comes through. Goleida bounces off his bread basket, but then he covers up. So a good opportunity there, set up by the backhand of Dubinsky, getting creative. Yeah, absolutely, and then another opportunity created there by Polino. Offense again, waking up a little bit, trying to see where the nooks and crannies are, where the holes are in Goliath's game. Joe, one off the pipe, they're really itching for this. Yeah, if they can get back one early, it's a, it could be a game. They win it back to Papachuk. Babichuk backhands it to Morell. Morell sends a shot through, deflects around, into the goal mouth, but no cigar. And now coming away with it is Ragush. Ragush over to Molinsky. Molinsky loses the puck, but Barron gets it right back. Barron retreats behind his own net. Barron 
swings it up the far side there for Andreev. Andreev stick handles, one-timer coming from Barron. Calvaruso able to stick it aside. Into the corner. Now Barron has by his own net, centers it. It gets through to the point. Shot comes in, Calvaruso again sticks it up high into the glass. Barron gets the rebound, but Babichuk separates the puck from the man beautifully, and Bowman will enter the zone now. Drops it back for Babichuk. Drops it for Ashbrook. Ashbrook stick handles. Loses it for a moment. Taken there by Betts. Ashbrook able to get it back and lays the hammer into the man. Bear unable to hold it in at the point, but Johnson sticks it right back. Now Bear kicks it forward. Lepinen gets in on sides, moves in, makes a move, drops it back for Gordo, but he is unable to get, a, his stick was tied up there by Noah Bald, and Gordo was unable to get the shot off, but a beautiful setup there from Lepinen, leaving all kinds of cage open. Bear gets the puck right back, a beautiful separation move there, and Lepinen will send it in for Goleida, who sweeps it over to his defense. Caldas moves up, now to Donaldson. Donaldson separates, and now dropping off. Good play there from Ferner to retreat and get that back. Now RPI moves up with Shelburne. Shelburne makes a move, and gloving it down is Goliath. So a lot of back and forth action here. 14.36 to go in the third. A lot going on in this period so far, Joe. As you said, the back and forth play has probably been at the peak of, of back and forth as we really have seen it all game. We haven't seen quite this this press from RPI offensively all game. And they're doing a really good job catching back up in transition defensively. A really good move made by Donaldson at the blue line, but an even better guy, recovery by the engineers' defense to avoid even a shot on goal opportunity. Ferner, Ferner really did a nice job saving that opportunity because Donaldson, uh, he's got a whole quiver of tricks there uh, w with his stick. I don't, I don't know where he learns them all, but Cam Donaldson, very impressive player there for Big Red. And he will check out his stats on the season and for the year. It looks like he's got uh, just 12, 12 points in 11 games, so two goals and 10 assists. I get the assist part. Or excuse me, it's going to be 13 points in 11 games. And then in his career, he's got 50 points in 69 games, 17 of them goals, 33 of them assists. So Cam Donaldson, a very impressive player he just here. Breaks defensive lines and then seems to dish it off for, yeah. for an open teammate. Really L seems to be his play style. L listed, listed at 5'8", 169 pounds. So he's and he's a junior now. Um, 20, 21 years old. So he's a younger guy too for college hockey. Um, but Must really have impressive been a true player freshman there. When he yeah, that's what started. it looks like. That's what it looks like as the Big Red clear the zone and the aforementioned Donaldson again in on the four check. Shelberg now pushes it up for RPI and sweeping it in, backhanding was Jerry. Now going behind the net with it. Donaldson right there. Ferner will take it in behind his own net and stop on a dime. Now he pushes it off for Shelberg. Shelberg moves up. He's Tries to stretch it out there for Jerry, but no one there. And so an icing called. This puck's going to go back to the RPI defensive zone, which they do not want. Yeah, clearly an area the engineers are trying to keep the puck out of. Still trailing 3 nothing as the clock is just ticking away, Joe. 13.59 left to go in the game now. Uh, an answer ought to come soon, or we might not see anything at all from the engineers. So Jack Malone set to take the face off for Big Red, and he'll win it back to Mullet. But Ferner gets in the way of that, and now RPI skates up with it, and we get another whistle. Joe, it should be noted that RPI's only been shut out one time this year, and that was when they traveled to uh, UMass Lowell. They lost 4 nothing. so it's uncharacteristic of the engineers to even come, up, even come up with no goals in a game. As Still time, though. That's true. Babichuk with it behind his own net. He'll stick handle, gets it over to Riley. 
Now RPI moves up. Gornel gets his stick lifted. And now coming back with it is Big Red. And they were almost able to force a breakaway there. But RPI back check getting back just in time. Weapon and with it along his own bench. He'll just bowl his way forward and get that puck in. Finally stood up there by Molinsky as Riley tries to jump in on the play, but is unable to keep the puck in, in the zone. Babichuk has to retreat all the way behind his own net to get it. Now he'll stick handle, leaves it for Riley. Riley up along the boards to Gornel. Gornel loses it and Andreev sends it right back in. Now they'll send it the length of the ice where it's taken by Goleida. Zeke in on the four check with Polino. Polino looking to center, takes it from behind the net, circles around, stick handling shot comes in, Dubinsky bounces off the stick, another shot from Zeke, whips around to the side, RPI buzzing, Dubinsky with it now, sends it up to the point there, moving it was Ferner, puck gets blocked in front and pushed to the corner. Cornell had a line of bodies in front there, Samick loves it down at center ice and sweeps it forward again. RPI crowd can starting to come to life. 2,879 people here this weekend to watch RPI. Ferner leaves it up for Johnson. Now Siki, his pass gets intercepted and gets sent right back in by Steinberg. Excuse me, that was Mitchell. Siki has it along his own half boards. Now it gets centered for Ferner. Ferner stick handles, finds Dubinsky, then gets slammed into the boards. Coming right back with it is Durvin. He'll drive it back for Mitchell. Travis Mitchell moves up, he'll send it deep. Taken by Samick. Samick pushes forward for DeGrande. Last week, DeGrande had his first collegiate goal. Excuse me, that's actually Tor Linden sweeping in. As he finds Morello. Bowman with it, Bowman trying to center, finds a one-timer, Kalina has to cover as Shane Bear came flying in, Shane Gostas Bear style, looking for that, with that stick high, almost, I guess more Danny Heatley like, yeah. just with that high stick, come flying in, ready to slap it home, but Kalina saw it all the way and it looked like it stung him a little. Yeah, Joe, you can see the frustration from the engineers, Nick Bowman slapping his stick on the ice after that one questioning how it didn't find the back of the net. Engineers are really pushing to make something happen right now, Joe. The fight is really strong. Polino's still working hard, making plays out there. Bowman set up a nice shot opportunity. The team's still working really hard. No quit in the engineers tonight. Yeah, 23 shots on that for RPI, 24 for Big Red. So RPI certainly has turned it on here. Bear has it at the point. His shot gets blocked as DeGrande, continu DeGrande continues to battle on the boards. Herman with it now, Herman stick handles. Centering pass comes through in the slot area. DeGrande digging in, Cornell comes away with it and now they'll skate three on two the other way. But a beautiful play there from Johnson and he'll stick it through for Jerry. Jerry now skates back the other way. Leaves it and gets it right back. Drops it off for Babichuk. Babichuk sends it through, shot through, Herman deflects it. It goes into the glass. Kept in by Gornel, and Big Red comes back with Andreev. Herman with it there, right near the RPI crest. Babichuk skates through, tries to stick handle, gets almost gets through three Big Red defenders, but cannot. And now they'll come back the other way. Shot comes in, goes high off the glass. Big Red has it at the point. They'll sweep it in, but it's blocked down by Babichuk's boot as he breaks out for a man, and RPI skating the other way. It's Gornel stopping, but falling down. RPI has it in the offensive zone along the half boards. Ashbrook going to work, gets it up to the point there. Sends it over to Shelberg. Shot comes in from the side, and it trickles! Just wide, are you kidding me? Really trying to pass the puck in. Shelberg looked like he was gonna fire it. That's what Goliath thought he was gonna do, and then it ended up being a pass, and Shelberg has it again at the point. Now he sends a shot through that deflects high and over the net. Lepinen continuing to press. Gets whipped around, and his stick was grabbed at, so the fans wanted a call, but he was no call coming. 9.40 to go, RPI continuing to press here with Shelberg. Shelberg stick handles, dumps it in to the corner. Taken back by Big Red with Mitchell. Mitchell leaves it up along the boards for Tristan Mullen. Now they'll skate back the other way. 
It's Kyle Betts. Betts drops it back. His pass cannot connect with Mitchell, and it goes back to neutral ice. Cornell must retreat. I think Chase Seeky's going to score. Somebody's got it, Joe. The engineers had a really good past couple offensive zone attacks. Multiple shots on goal. They now lead the shot on goal category by one. So you'd imagine one would go in. As we can play on here, 8.55 to go. Cornell still up 3-0. You're listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM. WRPI Troy. Mullen, excuse me, that is Sam Molinsky with it behind the net. Molinsky normally a, a defenseman, but Cornell is in the offensive zone. Now a shot comes through. Calvaruso can't find it. Polino has it behind the net. He gets sandwiched up behind the boards, but keeps with the puck. And now Bear gets it. Bear lifts it high. It's taken by Big Red, and they'll skate right back in with who but Cam Donaldson, centering pass, comes through to the slot area. They'll sweep it over to the far side, looking for the pass. Now another shot comes in, deflects high and out of play. 8-10 to go, Cornell three, RPI zero. Joe, despite the engineers coming to life in this third period, might just be too late. 8-10 left in the game, still trailing by three as each minute goes by. Uh, Realistic comeback kind of goes out the window, but you know, still go down swing and try and net one, try and net two. I think you have to net one. I think you have to net one against a team like this just to prove that you can. Because this, again, this is the first time they're seeing them, and RPI has played well at Liner Rink at Cornell. They've I won the last two times they've been there, so this is not. I think you have to prove to yourself that last weekend's sweep was not a fluke. We are a good team, and we can at least score against this team and then tomorrow against Colgate you come out firing. Yeah and Joe I mean their record speaks for that too three and six at home and five four and one away so I mean they're, they're, there's just something about you know kind of being that team that is doubted when you're away the team that no one's rooting for when you're away that seems to fire up the engineers hockey team is they have a winning record um, when they're playing away, especially after that big a win away at Clarkson last weekend. Um, so that speaks volumes for what this team is capable to do when they're not playing at the Houston Fieldhouse. And we'll check on some scores around the league at, at, at the end of the game, but tomorrow's going to be a huge game for RPI because they're currently tied for fifth in the ECAC with Colgate. So now Cornell comes away with the face-off win. Shock goes through, gets deflected, and out of play. Like Brendan Locke getting the shot off. Ashbrook set to take the face-off against Andreev. Face off one back and Calvaruso will cover it up. Things slowing down a little bit on the ice. Show a couple covers now by Calvaruso, a couple face offs. Yeah, maybe trying to lull Big Red to sleep and then <laughs> zipping back come out. out. Yeah, come out swinging, right? Ashbrook wins it over to Babichuk who drops behind the net for Riley. Riley now sends it up ice for Gornel. Gornel moves his way through, finds Ashbrook who rips a shot high. Riley able to keep it in, sweeps it in. Ashbrook trying to get a deflection up, but Goliath there first. Now Molinsky will drop it back there for Cairns. Cairns rips it forward for Andreev. Andreev dangling around, drops it in. Calvaruso sweeps it over to Gornel along the half boards. Gornel trying to connect with Lepinen and does. Now Lepinen pushes it forward. Cairns gets it right back. Cairns takes it behind his own net. Seven minutes to go here in the third. RPI still trying to get on the scoreboard. Pass gets deflected in neutral ice. And a shot comes through. Calvaruso sweeping around. 
That puck does not go in. What a save by Calvaruso. Great effort. And now, but Big Red still on the attack there. Down low, shot comes through from Mullet. They'll get the rebound and Steinberg with it now. He'll send up the point, but gets intercepted. Now Polino back the other way. He'll bank it off the boards. Send it in. Taken up by Polino. He'll do battle with Green. Green takes it from behind the net and pushes up ice. Leaves it over to Cairns. Cairns drops it in. Excuse me, that's Mitchell dropping it in. Shelberg does battle behind the net with Riley. Cornell comes away with it. They try to get it up to the point and do. Shot comes through from Heisken in, but it goes wide. Now Bald with it. Bald has it on his backhand, leaves it for Heisken. Heisken makes a move along goal line, and it slams into the side of the cage and is unable to get a shot through as that one gets deflected out of play. Joe, time winding down again. 5.45 left in the game. The light dimming for the engineers, but again, I still think it's valuable to net a goal. Um, definitely don't want to stop trying here. Proving that you can skate with the best of the best in this country and in this conference, really, the ECAC really being a strong conference with multiple teams. Uh, ranked in the top 10, top 25 uh, in the country. And now Donaldson gets a shot through, or excuse me, a pass through, but the shot went high. Another great setup there from Cam Donaldson. His RPI skates out with it. It's Morello. He'll leave it. Shot does not come through. Bounces high around. Glider trying to find it. They'll continue to press with it. And now we've got tensions building in front of the net. And I think it's Herman there with DeGrandi and Jerry. Rory Herman trying to take on the whole team. Uh, not sights you want to be seeing with this little game left here, Joe. Just kind of want, you know, players to keep playing hard out there. You know, fighting at the college level is not exactly encouraged. <laughs> no, uh, not at all. <laughs> but we get set for a face-off here. It's Linden, Tor Linden out there with Morello and Bowman. Face-off, one back there to Heiskanen. Heiskanen sends it over for Green, and they'll push it forward. Samick takes it from behind his own net. Tries to push it up along the half boards. It gets through, all the way through. And so, Durbin, Sebastian Durbin will have to go all the way back to retreat and take that puck. Heiskanen with it now. Heiskanen sweeps it forward. It deflects and bounces high around with Ferner. Ferner over to Samick. Now to Bowman. Bowman dumps it in. Stopped behind the net by Goida. Taken by Durvins. Durvins makes a move behind the net and he'll skate up with it. He's, his pass goes through everyone and so that will be an icing. 439 to go RPI will have an offensive zone faceoff. And now you wonder, oh, maybe do you pull the goalie here? You're down 3-0, what do you have to lose? Yeah, exactly, right? You know? you know, maybe let another minute, minute and a half go by. I don't want to be goal goalie list for four and a half minutes. <laughs> Uh, that, that would just create uh, just more problems than a solution, I'd imagine. You know, once you get down to the two minute, 90 second mark. Face off won by RPI, but they were unable to do much with it at the points there, as Bear now goes back to retrieve. Shot comes in, Calvaruso up to the task. Now the now Andreev with it, he'll sweep it back in behind the net. Johnson trying to get it up, but not let, allowing him to do was Tristan Mullen, who continues to play with a motor. Lepinen has it along in his own zone, and he'll circle back to gain some speed. Now he'll move up, knifing his way through is Lepinen. He dumps it in, leaves, leaves sends a man into the boards as Gornel forces a turnover behind the net. Puck bounces around. 
Aleppin and centers it for Ashbrook. Shot goes off the side of the net. Held in at the point there. Shot comes through from Riley. Bounces wide. Babichuk tries to keep it in. Now it's taken by Riley. And Babichuk in front of their own net. Riley drops it in deep. Mitchell swings it around to the far side. Riley tries to keep it in but cannot. Now Big Red will possess their neutral ice with Ben Berard. Berard loses the puck. And Ferner will skate up to Zeke. Zeke taps it. 2.52 to go here. RPI, Cornell three, RPI zero. Brendan Berard, Ben Berard sends it in deep for Big Red. Shelberg has it sent up to the point there and Big Red will send it right back in. Taken along by Mallette, Mallette stick handling. Trying to get himself through. Mallette unable to. Now he sends it up to the point there for Heiskanen. Heiskanen drops it back for Mallette. Now over to the far side for Green. Oh, back up to Heiskanen on the near side who rips it behind the cage. Cornell continuing to pressure. Now a shot comes through from the slot, but getting a stick on that was Shelberg and deflecting it. Zeke over to Shelberg. Shelberg sends it up the boards there and he'll go the length of the ice with it. Polino there to beat out the icing. Good play there to get it out of the zone, but RPI unable to capitalize on it. Johnson has it back in his own zone. He'll send it forward for Polino. Polino gets knocked off the puck. Jerry pushes one forward, but it bounces off the skate and taking it is Matt Cairns. Cairns has it behind his own net. DeGrand forcing the issue. Now Big Red moves up. They'll get it in. Tristan Mullen with it. He'll circle back. Johnson takes it off his stick and he'll push forward. But Big Red gets it right back and they'll stop it behind the cage. Shane Bear backhands it forward for Herman. Herman unable to, to possess. Under a minute to go here in the third. They'll, Big Red continuing to put pressure on as that's Noah Ball with it. Now back over to Morgan Barron. Barron centering pass comes through. Calvaruso sticks out a leg. And now we've got Mayhem in front. What a play there by Alec Calvaruso. Are you kidding me? Great, great saving, diving effort by Calvaruso. Joe, you know, even when things are looking down for his team, still making great plays, showing coach, like, hey, you know, I'm out here to do what you asked me to do. Showing his team guys, you know, fight right till the, the last buzzer kind of thing. With 34.1 seconds left in the game, you know, coming up with a big play like that is not something you see from a lot of other goaltenders. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, I think he's only faced probably eight shots here. I think when he came in, there were about 21 on cage already. I know there were like, 16, like 16 in the first 17, period yeah. alone. So Marshall certainly faced more, but uh, Calvaruso faced has- Has made pretty made, two made, incredible saves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But as the clock winds down, RPI will look to pressure here. It's Morello with it, and Cornell clears it back out to neutral ice. And Babichuk with it. He'll send it towards neutral ice. Linden takes another crack at it. And so the game will end. Cornell three, RPI zero. We'll come back in a moment for Matt's offensive and defensive engineers of the game. But a beautiful showing here for Cornell. Makalida gets another shutout here and pushes for his case for Hobie Baker this year. Uh, but some beautiful plays there. Cam Donaldson had some great setups uh, on, on those goals. And we'll, we'll recap all the scoring in a moment. But Matt, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you know, tough loss. Second time being shut out this year, Joe, 3-0. 
Um, an, unchar an uncharacteristic type of loss to be shut out like that, especially at home for the engineers. So, uh, you know, things got to be looking up going into tomorrow, like you said. Another big night for the engineers, uh, being tied with Colgate in the ECAC. So, got to keep your heads up and not not let this one, you know, sulk you down for tomorrow night's game. Yeah, and it's going to be a very, very important game for RPI in terms of the standings because right now Clarkson is up over Princeton 2-1, uh, which is expected. Uh, then Quinnipiac is up 3-2 over St. Lawrence, and Quinnipiac is 6-3-1. They're currently tied for third in the ECAC with Harvard. And then this is the big one. Colgate and Union are tied 2-2 with 3.33 to go in the third. And just for everyone's information, Union is 4-6-0. They're currently tied for eighth in the ECAC with Yale. So a win would give them uh, a record of 5-6-0, which would put them one point behind RPI. And then Colgate is 5-2-1. They currently are tied with RPI in ter in the f with RPI for fifth in the CAC in terms of their points. So tomorrow is going to be a huge, huge game for the ECAC hockey standings, especially depending on the outcome of this Colgate Union one. Yeah, Even if a lot it, of opportunity if it's for a tie. Team shifting. Yeah, so RPI does not get the result they want. It was definitely a pretty, uh, the first period I felt like they kind of got blitzed. They kind of got blitzed by the, by the, just in terms of shots. But it was the second period that the scoring. That did it on the scoreboard. For yeah. The two goal period just. So we'll take, so run down through the scoring here. Um, it, it was in the first period that the that we had our first goal, and it was scored by Tristan Mullen. It was a power play goal assisted by Brendan Locke and Michael Regish, and that put them up 1-0. It was 16:46. It was scored at 16:46 of the first period. Then in the second period, it was Brendan Locke getting the second goal of the game. We originally thought it was Tristan Mullen getting his second, but it was not. Tristan Mullen assisted it along with Cam Donaldson, and that was that highlight real goal that Cam Donaldson skated through the slot, and it looked like he was going to try and maybe just push a shot in from the side, but instead he elected to go more towards goal line extended, drop the pass back through his legs, almost like you see in lacrosse, like a face-off man will yeah, right. rip a face-off back towards his defenseman. It was almost like one of those plays. And then, uh, or excuse me, Brendan Locke was able to just slam it home. Then the third goal was at 9.29 of the second period by Jeff Mullett, and it was assisted by Travis Mitchell and Matt Steinberg. So it was Travis Mitchell that had that initial shot that Marshall kicked out in front to the center slot area, and then Jeff Mullett closed it, just closed it down. Marshall was on the ground, not much he could do. He made the initial save, but his defense was unable to clear. So, and that was our scoring for the game. Our RPI was unable to get on the scoreboard at home. So not, they're not gonna be happy campers tomorrow. But what do you, who were your offensive engineers and defensive engineers of the game, Matt? Uh, so Joe, despite being shut out tonight on the offensive side of things for my offensive engineer of the game, I, uh, I picked the senior number 29, Patrick Polino. I had him down in my notes quite a few times for high quality opportunities. Um, he was really looking to get a good quality assist tonight. You know, just the shots couldn't find the back of the net and stuff happened. So uh, kudos to him. You know, he kept fighting hard. He did really well on the four check and, you know, uh, making things not easy for the big red. So that's the reason, a couple of reasons I picked him for my offensive engineer of the game. For my defense engineer of the game, I'm picking our substitute goalie, number 38, Alec Calvaruso. He didn't quite face as many shots on goal as Lyndon Marshall, but um, when his team and his coach asked him to step in and keep pucks out of the net, uh, he answered perfectly. I think he might have made 11 or 12 saves for the second half of the game, but he went in with the score at 3 nothing, and he came out with the score at 3 nothing. So he did exactly what was asked of him in keeping the puck out of the back of the net, and for that reason, he's my defense engineer of the game. 
All right, well, thank you, Matt. And now we'd like to make a couple of thank yous of our own. We'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI, hockey, football, and baseball. WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org, and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so long as RPI, so long as we are broadcasting. Once again, that is WRPI.org. Recruitment, WRPI is seeking current RPI students to make live calls of RPI athletic events such as this one. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or to express interest, contact us at WRPI-sports at RPI.etu. We now would like to take a moment to thank DJ Scooter for inboarding us here, inboarding us here at the game while being back at the station. So the next game for RPI will be tomorrow, and it will be against Colgate here at the Houston Fieldhouse in Troy, New York. It will start at seven o'clock, and I believe that it is Autism Awareness Night. So for the game, they will be lowering the volume as much as they can, not having all that blaringness, blaring goal horn, and they'll try to limit the TV uses as, usage as much as possible to prevent that excitement. And so it's a really it's a cool opportunity. I think if you get if you get an opportunity, you should come to, come check it out because it's cool to just hear the hockey being played without all the, the, the music going on in between the shifts. You can hear what the players are saying sometimes even. So it's actually, I really enjoyed it. It's like, it's old time hockey uh, without, all the, without all the hype. Um, and that will be broadcasting that on WRPI Sports, or uh, WRPI, uh, 91.5 FM WRPI. And then on behalf of Matt and myself, Joseph Pisicano, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. And the final score from the Houston Fieldhouse in Troy, New York is RPI 0, Cornell 3. And you have been listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM WRPI Troy.